Oh, Jesus. Heading out, do a little fishing today, getting a late start. It's already noon. So uh tide should be coming in, should be pretty soon. Uh, I think like two or three is gonna be high tide. So I've got a few uh more hours of uh incoming tide. So it's just me today. So GNU guy solo headed your way. So uh gonna hit the creek. I was supposed to go with uh JB today, but something came up, so it's just me. So it's a last minute run to the the bait shop at uh, St. Augustine Paddle Sports there. Got four dozen muds, and we're gonna see what happens. We went fishing the other day, the water was so clear, but really slow bite. So hopefully we'll have a little bigger of a bite. If so, we'll have a great video for you. So today we're using the mud minnows on a float rig. It's a float slip rig, so you can adjust the depth, which is very important with that incoming tie because you wanna be right off the bottom but not be hooked on those oyster beds down there in the, where we're fishing at. So this is how we're going to get these redfish. Now we're in the creek. Got our spot. We're set up now. So far, water's clear. It's not as clear as it was on Monday, but it's still pretty clear. Um, right now the bite's still slow. Not a lot of mangroves. I think they've moved out to warmer water. So. Hopefully our reds will bite and we won't go through as many mud minnows now. So we're out here in our spot. We've got a float rig and then we got a bottom rig right over the oyster bed. To see if uh, we can get something to bite for us. Just had it open. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a big fish, but sure to take it with aggressiveness. Mm. A little sneaky sucker, huh? Got 16 inch red. Caught this sucker here on the float. I'm gonna put him back, but slow going. But we caught one. go there we go what do we got here i saw some color way up there it looked like maybe a small red maybe we got us a small red he's not fighting too hard he's not fighting too hard he ain't seen the boat yet maybe oh there he's a little bit of fight oh that's a little red got some little rat red here inch redfish another float with a mud minnow so it's starting to pick up a little bit not big enough but come on where's your big brother where's your daddy we got to get some come on later
bigger. It's the third 17 inch redfish. They're biting just slow bites. Taking a long time for it to sit there and get a bite on there, but we got us one. There's a 17. Let's get a little bigger. fish it's 15 inches it's going the wrong way it's supposed to be going up bigger not smaller so I don't know. you gotta tell your daddy later Six redfish, 17 inch redfish, six of them. Six of them so far. Doing pretty well. Cold water, now the bite's picking up. So here we go. Later, dude. Oh, Jesus. Pretty good. Feels pretty good. Could be another keeper. Mm. No, maybe not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Two 18s back to back, back to back. While I had the other one taken off the hook, the other one hit two 18 inch redfish. Whew, they're biting now. Ninth redfish, 17 inches, nine. No bites earlier, but I'm telling you what, that bite just came on and it's been nice. Get on out of here. Good size one. Tenth 
redfish. He's 18. I just tied my personal best of 10 redfish in one outing. Let's we'll see if we can beat it. fish within two hours, 10 redfish. Um, many of them were 16 and 17, but three were 18. So we kept two of the 18s for some uh, dinner. So we're gonna fry us up some redfish. But now it's time to go back in and do the stuff y'all don't see on video. Clean the boat, clean the fish, get everything done. It doesn't take long with the GNU, so uh, that's the best thing about it. So thanks for watching. Y'all like and subscribe.